Welcome back to Paranorma Sites. Let's uh, get back to where we were before things took a... Exploded. A hard crash. <laughs> but here we are for the finale. We're going to finish this game once and for all. So maybe you picked up a bunch of Stoborn, never bring your sub, blah de blah de blah you're hiding everything. It, it, just, it just exploded. And... Here we uh, go. Ayame, all right. Is that all you have to say? <clears throat> Pick it right up. Then I only have one answer for you. You are, honestly and truly, our daughter. Nothing more, nothing less. I even now, you're still trying to hide it? Why, are you really that stupid? Oh. Huh? Boss! Boss! Why? Is your pride worth dying for? God! Oh. I should have known. Why? Why go this far to hide it? Ayami, listen. G huh? Your power? Ayami, be proud. No matter what happens, you are our precious daughter. No way. How are you still alive? Determination and stubbornness. I don't know what that piece of shit Nejima filled your head with. But you're not Shino. And you're not Ashino either. You're our daughter, Dayame Tsutsumi. Uh. Alright, I guess it's Tonu now. Well, that's fine too. Tsutsumi, Tono, both will always be part of who you are. Uh, what? Why are you doing this? That's not true! The curse proves that it's not! Sure. You probably don't have many memories of us playing together. And I did leave everything at home to your mom. And I was barely ever there for you. It well, okay. Now that I, I say it out loud, it right. sounds kind of jerkish. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Even so, when I was working, no matter how grisly a crime scene I was at, all I ever wanted was for you to grow up to be happy. That's it. Why? Why say all of this now? Because in five minutes you won't be able to hear it. So, do one last thing for me. I want you... Tell me the truth, too. And if you lie to me now, I'm taking you with me. Woo! Stop! I can't! The mastermind behind all of this, the one who awakened the curses of the Seven Mysteries in order to use the right. Was it you? Was it? Oh... No, no I wouldn't even know how to do that. And picking up Michio Shirishi's talisman. It's just coincidence, right? Uh, yeah, I already told you that. <sighs> Good. Hearing that, I can rest easy. You're nothing like Nijima. You can stand on your own two legs. You can keep living without escaping into a fantasy. You can hate me. You can dream all the crazy dreams you want. Just don't ever stop trying to do good. You're a victim of your curse, too. <gasps> it's not too late to atone for the hit and run for using the curse. Don't run away. You can still make things right. I know you can. Because you're my daughter. After that, just live the best life that you can. Dad! <laughs> Oops. Boss! Boss! Eh? 
That was sadly the only way this could have gone. That's how I figured. That's that's no there's no other ending. This is the way it had to be. That day at 6.18 p.m., Hayami Tona was taken into custody. Tetsuo Tsutsumi's death was confirmed at the same time. The five curse stones possessed by Tsutsumi, as well as the three given up by Ay Ayame, lost their curse bearers. This temporarily extinguished their spirit power, allowing Mio Kurosuzu to obtain them and seal them away without difficulty. Neat! The yin talisman possessed by Ayame Tono was recovered and entrusted to Mio Kurosuzu as well. Thus, any massacre that could potentially be caused by this iteration of the curses was prevented before it could ever happen. Or so it seems. There's still one curse bearer out there. Yeah, so this is where I really wanted to end things. But the, the Switch had of, another idea. <laughs> but the Switch had another idea, and I liked it better. So, or so it seemed. I wouldn't make a whole twelfth episode if there wasn't something extra. Yup. What could it be? There's a character that hasn't been here in a while. I wonder if they'll make a reappearance. Also, what about that victim that got crushed to death? June Ario. Ah. Sorry for keeping you out so late, Mio. Oh no, I don't need to sleep. It's fine. <laughs> I just you can't take my mind out the coat barrel who would never found. Oh, it's no problem for me. I usually work at night anyway. Did you see Yako home safely? Oh, yup. We saw the whole way to patrol call earlier. Apparently, she put up quite a fuss, saying she wanted to see things through to the end. Thank you. The Feast of Shadows is starting to take effect, so... Turning my notes, it would have been dangerous. <laughs> Hi. I can't get my mind off the remaining curse stone, the Whispering Canal, and who the Mastermind is. But we have to deal with that thing before I can worry about any of that. How's it going with the two talismans? Have you figured out the location of the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll? I have, more or less. When I combined the, con the contents of the two talismans, they formed a seal which could be undone. The things inside the talismans that looked like scraps of wood were actually a tiny scroll kept folded up by the seal. Who'd have thought the talismans actually contained the scroll itself? So... so that's the Yin Scroll, then. What's it say? Eat at Joe's. Shit! Fuck! Be sure to drink your Ovaltine, yep. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there's one more seal we have, we have to undo to open the scroll. It's giving me some trouble, so I was actually hoping you could help me out. Okay, unlocking the seal? Got it, sure thing. I don't know what I'll be able to do, but let me at it. Wow, I didn't expect you to be so eager to help. It's oddly reassuring. It's a good thing I'm the last curse bearer. Muhahaha. <laughs> okay, let's see. There are five seals holding the scroll shut. I think we have to remove them in the correct order. Okay. Each seal has a different design. A carp, a light, a beech leaf, a taiko drum, and a reed. reed. Remove the five seals in the wide order? Okay. If I get it, if we get it wrong, is it going to, you know, go boom? Huh? Oh, no. We'll just have to try again. I tested it once already. <sighs> oh, you already tried it yourself. So brave. NBD. Mio rocks. <laughs> I think it's devised so the seal can only be undone if the curses for the right have already been unleashed. And I think there's a hint to opening it hidden in something related to the curses. Hmm. Just let me know when you're ready. Probably the order in which the people died to create the curses? That's what I'm thinking. Let's consult first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't explode or anything, so we <laughs> might as well just give it a try. I see, okay. Uh, what if we play a quick round of keep talking and nobody explodes? Alright, well, let's uh, see if we can move in okay. the correct order. Uh, so, if we're going by the Legend of the Curses, who died first? In no, just random order. Let's go Tycho Drum. Okay. Taiko Drum. Uh, beach Leaf. How about Carp? Uh, the Reed. Okay, the Reed. Then the, the carp. carp. And then, yeah, the no white. particular order, huh? Wow, you got it right, it's open! Oh, wow, how crazy! Getting it right on the first try, that's amazing! You're a real pro! Oh, there's actually dialogue for it. <laughs> Nothing to it, really. Told you you could leave it to me! Now we can finally read what's written inside. Let's see. 
Eat a Jost. Okay, <laughs> we can. Oh, oh yeah. What's let's it say? Uh, yeah, let's read the file. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, you and scroll for data cave. I bequeath this scroll to future generations oh. to be used in the event that calamity should arise in this grievous incident. Those who seek forestall disaster must gather all these three items in one place to cast my cleansing and spit all rituals and curses in full. My, my soul, soul, that's a curse echo. My body, that is a living continuation of my bloodline, and my spirit, that is my own consciousness. That sounds weird. We have one of those. This is bullshit! <laughs> hmm. I see. Fake, not real! <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? First is a detailed account of the tragedy surrounding the Rite of Resurrection that occurred in Hanjo back in the Edo period. The whole story of what we call the Hanjo Incident is laid out clearly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, the resentment of the victims of the incident turned into curses, which are the curse echoes. The contents are organized like an answer sheet, so it doesn't just give us the information we need. Is there anything else? Yes, here's what we've been looking for. I bequeath this scroll to future generations, and uh, I just said... Whoa, he foresaw all this happening. And it continues. Those who seek to forestall disaster must gather the three items in one place to cast my rite of cleansing and expel all rituals and curses in full. My soul, that is my curse echo, my body, that is a living continuation of my bloodline, my mind, that is my own consciousness. Curse echo, blood, bloodline, consciousness, soul, body, mind. Wow, so if we gather these three things in one place... Seiman's Rite of Cleansing will activate and completely negate the curses and the Rite of Resurrection! Oh, that's it? That's exactly what we need. The three things are Seiman's soul, body, and mind. Oh, hey, look at that! It says the soul is Seiman's curse echo. A curse echo? So Seiman himself is a part of the seven mysteries. <gasps> now that you mention it, Mr. Araishi said something along those lines before. There's another hint written here. My curse echo holds my curse. My curse brings ruin to curse bearers. Oh. What kind of hint is that? Maybe it'll make more sense as we keep looking. But will the curse echo still appear if the curse bearer is already gone? Oh. Next, the body is a descendant of Seimon's, it seems. Wasn't Yoshimi a relative of Seimon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he and Michio Shiraishi had who had the other talisman. Both of them had already passed by the time this iteration of the curses was unleashed. Damn, that's true. What are we gonna do? His bloodline was so split up, there have to be others. Ooh. Oh, there's another note here, too. Where? Is it another hint? As for the body, seek not only one who bears my blood, but one with strong spirit sense. Oh my god, it's Mio. Such an individual will be able, if a spirit attempts to possess them, to instead take control of that spirit themselves. Ooh. So it says. Do we know anyone like that? I can't think of anyone. Let's move on for now. Next is the mind. What's the difference between the mind and the soul? Shh. Um, in paranormal theory, it's said that humans are made up of soul, body, and mind. The mind is essentially thought to be the part of the spirit that makes up one's consciousness, or one's self. It's like driving. The body is the car, the soul is the control system, and... The mind is the driver. Oh, I... Oh, no, I see. I think that makes sense. So, is there a hint for finding this one, too? Well, let's see. There's this. Should the right of resurrection be activated elsewhere, so too shall my mind be awakened there. Ooh. Seimon tried to seal away the Rite of Resurrection, but before he could, Ashino stole the Record of Fates. So as a countermeasure to the Rite being activated, he made it so that his mind would be released from the seal. Okay, but what does that actually mean? Well, <laughs> what it means is, Seimon's mind awoke the night the Rite was activated and must be possessing someone out there right now. Hmm, what? So we have to get that person together with everything else. All right, so we have to find the curse echo, the descendant, and the person possessed by Seiman. Then we just get them together in one place and we'll be good to go. Right, but there is one thing. The second and third ones could be both the same person. Interesting. Ooh. Who could that be? 
It's like Hamichia lost her memories when she was possessing Yako. Seimon's consciousness might not be aware of who it really is. So if he learned the truth, would he start to act of his own accord? Oh, then that Porsche could already be... Oh, hold on a second. Someone's coming this way. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it, come on. Show it. Excuse me, could I interrupt for just a moment? Show me. Yeah! Um, who might you be? Call it! Would you buy this empty can of juice I just finished drinking for 10,000 yen? Uh-huh. I'll even throw in these bones from some fried chicken. You can't beat a deal like this. Um, I, uh, I don't really want them. Don't say that. Come on, they're delicious. Actually, I thought I might just have a picnic right here. Won't you join me? Sorry, um, I don't understand. What should we do? Well, well, it's, not, well, it's not like we need this exact spot, and we can't do anything with other people around. Let's just move somewhere else. Um, oh, sorry. We're in the middle of something, God. so we'll just be on our way. Shit! Oh, shit! No! Yeah, I knew it! No! Oh, what? God! Uh. <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> This is a curse. <laughs> called it. I freaking called it. Oh, yeah. And hey, look, we got an ending. What kind of an ending was that? A good one. What the fuck kind of ending was that? I sure hope they didn't uh, hint a sequel and then try to go. Oh, that would be terrible. <sighs> oh, I so called it. Yes! Well, well alright, epilogue. There's gotta be something here, right? Oh, hello. No epilogue for you. <laughs> you have my heartfelt thanks for all your hard work thus far. This brings the story of the seven mysteries of Honjo to a close! <laughs> and who could have foreseen such a conclusion? Unfortunately, it seems the so-called mastermind was one step ahead of you. She remains hidden, leaving behind no evidence. Perhaps there is truly no way to stop her. However, should you find that this conclusion is not to your liking, by all means, please pursue a different path. You have done it once before, so I'm sure you already know now. Know oh. how. With that, I shall be taking my leave. I'm gonna pull a zero escape on you. I have been your humble storyteller. Good night. I'm gonna pull a zero escape on you. If that's the honest-to-god real conclusion and there is nothing else, the only option that we have is to go back to the very beginning and kill her ass. Well, I mean, there's nowhere on the story chart that's lit up. Shogo Okie. Shogo Okie, huh? Go back to the guy who died first, who had a bullshit death. She needs to die, but he needs to live. This is where you gotta go. Yep. Called it. This is when she died. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't die, the entire story happens, but if fate changes just slightly, just slightly enough... You guys are from talking to Takumi. Oh, as wait! We, as we can see, she's already dead. Yeah, she's gone. So, this technically means if we go through this entire opening and don't kill a soul... But the thing is... No matter what we tried, Shogo used the Cursed Stone anyway. So this is not a good place to go down. He forced his hand. But if you look over here the hell is this? Has that been there the whole time? It has. What? The hell is that? It looks like a light floating in midair. That's been there the whole time? Uh, anything to say about that, Takumi? Uh, talk about Yoko. I don't know, was it you who killed Yoko with your cursed stone? Yeah, I already blah, blah, blah. know this. This isn't, this isn't important. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Hey, it's getting closer. Are you kidding me? This was here the whole time? A will-o'-wisp. Oh. Who had the will-o'-wisp? Touch. Doesn't, doesn't quite look like any cursed, cursed echo I've ever seen. What is that? Am I supposed to touch it? Touch. Ah. This is the big curse echo, the one we need. And hello, darling. And that's the ending that we need. Cleansing, the rite of cleansing. Now, 
Yes, that curse echo was there the whole time. But there probably wasn't a way to finish this because we didn't know how to cleanse it. I'm gonna throw another zero escape on you. More like zero time dilemma. Before you could go to the ending you're supposed to, you have to answer questions. You need the pro you need the information. With the body, soul, and mind of Seimon Tsuchi Mikado have all been brought together, the rite of cleansing is activated, dispelling all rituals and curses that have previously been performed. So the only death was going to be the one who had the curse stone backfire. Everyone else will live. Unless... My, my. Finally, you have arrived at this juncture. I expected no less from you. That would mean that you have managed to bring everything to light. Though there is the possibility that you have wound up here by chance. So before I take you any further, I must ask you a number of questions. About what exactly the soul, body, and mind of Seimon Tsuchi Mikado are. You just can't let the if, game- If you accidentally got here uh -huh. by mistake, you need to know these answers. Can't let the game coast your way through. You gotta answer actual questions. Here we go. Firstly, Okay. Which of the curse- which curse echo represents the soul of Seiman Tsuchi Mikado? That would be the- it's not the beckoning light. It's the ever-burning lantern? Wrong. Oh, it was the beckoning light? Yes, that is exactly it. Uh, After his defeat uh -huh. at the hands of Ashino in the Honju incident, Seiman wandered about near Honji. The form of his curse echo changed over time with the legend he left behind. This is the curse echo which was acquired by Mayu Chozawa, but when called forth by Seimon's body and mind, it appeared momentarily before him. Let us continue. Who served as the self of Seimon Tsuchi Mikado? Who was his body, his descendant, who carried his blood in their veins? Oh god, I don't remember her name. No multiple choice. Uh, yeah, I, I completely forget what her name was. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Me? It's Shogo! Oh, Shogo was possessed. Correct again. Is that why the curse echo backfired? Although Shogo Okie was born to an ordinary family, the blood of a distant relative ran thick in his veins. Mm. Like molasses. Syrup. In truth, the same is true for Yoko Fukunaga. She was also one who had the blood of a distant relative coursing through her. In her case, it was Ashino. Oh. Seiman and Ashino fated to meet again after all these hundreds of years later. Now, for my final question. Who is the mind of Seiman Tsuchimikado? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his. Whose consciousness is tied directly to Seimon Tsuchi Mikado. Who is it? Uh, uh, is it just Shogo again? Tetsunatio, of course. Us. Mm. Oh, oh, I see. You believe it to be Tetsunatio. Are you saying you believe it to be yourself? Are you certain? Yes, you are correct. Finally, you have remembered. I'm awakened. That's right. You are... Seiman's consciousness, awoken by the curses and the rite of resurrection. Because we have the knowledge. However, having lost your memories, you forgot about the duty assigned to you. This is, if I may say so, where I played my part, guiding you through the events of this story. As your consciousness was all that was left of you, you manipulated time and space by way of the story chart, jumping from vessel to vessel, and manipulated your host actions by whispering commands into their ears. Yes, you are a curse bearer. Go to that place. You move here now. Talk to him again. Would you kindly? Use the curse. In doing so, you were able to get the full picture of what needed to be done. That was how we were able to tell about the, the pen and the nail polish remover and the, the fax machine. All one consciousness. But at one point, while still unconscious, you managed to remember your duty. 
The so-called mastermind behind these events, the one who awakened the rite and the curses, was Yoko Fukunaga, descendant of Ashino herself. You unconsciously activated your curse and killed her. Because we turned around, because she was like, <laughs> We turned around and was like, huh, what's that? Huh? And, then, and then she used our curse, but it backfired and killed her instead, as the whispering light is, or the beckoning light is supposed to do. Oh, it reflects curses. Mm -hmm. Oh! Wow. How interesting that she awakens Seimon's consciousness at the same time as the curses. Oopsie doodles. That was the one and only time she could have been stopped. Ah, but... Due to your influence on Shogo Okie's will, Yoko Fukunaga was brought back to life. Using the story chart to undo her death, I led you to believe that it was the work of the Rite of Resurrection itself. But as it turns out, seeing what would transpire if the Mastermind was not killed at the outset, it was what ultimately revealed the way to put an end to the curses for good. Interesting. There were certain things which you would have answered all your questions, had you noticed them. For example, even while under your control, Shogo Okie willingly used his curse. When I asked you early on how many Shogo Okie had killed, this is what I meant. Had you not used the curse, Shogo Okie would have done so of his own accord. Furthermore, Mayu Chozawa was able to recall information which only you knew. She was able to do this because she was connected to you through her curse echo, the beckoning light. It's written here, as you can see. Now, allow me to ask you one last question. If you, knowing all that you know now, had the ability to resurrect one life, what would you do? He asked this before. He did ask this before. But now, what are your thoughts here? This is all you. What do you think, man? Don't think too hard. I would destroy it. You would destroy it. Oh ho, I see, I see. That was Seiman's original intention. I apologize for leaving it out of the options when I first asked you this question. Ha! <laughs> now, it is time to bring things to a close. Upon your arrival here, the rite of cleansing was activated, dispelling all other rituals and curses. Look upon the fruit of your efforts. Which means that the curse stones didn't exist, which means everything we've done up until this point just got erased. Just got erased. And now for the true ending. And then we shall leave this world behind for good. Not for good! Paranormal Site 2! Paranormal Site 2! Please! Sequel! Sequel! Sequel, guys, come on! I mean, I mean we've got Death Mark 2 to look forward to, so. <laughs> I, know, I, know you got, I know you guys lost like a billion dollars, but come on! So I'm guessing the story chart's going to go backwards. Let's see how things played out. Because Yoko's dead. Like, dead, dead. Oh. Oh. Ugh. God. Oh, that's what happened. I can't believe it. Well. <laughs> I finally understand. Yeah, I was the one who did that to Yoko. Oops. I can sleep soundly now. The blood of the Onmyoji that's inside me broke into my consciousness and gave me that curse. That's why she was saying you're... You have good spirit power. Wow, she was testing the waters. Yoko was after the Rite of Resurrection. She was the one who awakened the curses of the Seven Mysteries and cast the Feast of Shadows. Being all buddy-buddy just a month after meeting each other and coming out to meet at the place like this, yep. you were targeted, man. Mm -hmm. And the only way to stop all of it was to put a stop to her here. Otherwise, the Rite of Cleansing might have been negated too. And it would have kept going for millennia. I wonder how much of it was really her doing, all those things. Yoko, come on. I guess that explains why I felt like it was fate when all this started. Though she didn't seem to notice. I think she noticed entirely. I guess things were always destined to end like this from the moment we met. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Later, bitch! Unless I do the Rite of Resurrection, do bring no, her no, back, no, no, and no, then- no, 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 no
Actually, that'd be an interesting way to bring about a Paraso paranormal well, site, too. You were so close, but it turns out that was an ultra mastermind. God, I need a drink. Or maybe, like, one of the bad endings becomes the plot for the next paranormal site. Or it just gets awakened again. I'm thinking a Moscow Mule. Or two, or three, or four, or five. Twelve, ninety, hundred, and ninety-eight. Ooh, we're going backwards in time. I like it. We have no curse stones now. So mm. how's this play out? Ma'am, what is it? Uh, I just woke up. Uh, just a dream. It seems that it was all just a dream. I dreamt that there was such a thing as the rite of resurrection. Just... A dream. Reading Steiner, you're aware of alternate timelines. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but there isn't. Right. Of course not. But. Even if there is no such thing, I promise you that I will get to the bottom of the kidnapping. In fact, I've happened to find a very important lead from over a year ago. Something that's evaded our reach until now. An eyewitness from the scene of the kidnapping. I see. Oh, yeah, that means really nobody died. Huh. Yeah, how is this going to play? Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? The medical unit you told me to get down here. What happened? And that's it. <laughs> that's it oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> As I was looking into Yoshimi's death at the former Yasuda Gardens. Another, another party of what you discovered a different park in the area? Could you be what way you in? Don't do that, that's stupid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> different it's timeline. Different timeline, oh, no. no! It sure looks like it, but... Excuse me, we found this among the victim's belongings. Thought you'd want to know. Huh? What's this? What? What the hell? The boss! Look what was in the female victim's address book! Yoshimi's phone number and photo! Ba, 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 da, da, da. Holy what? shit! And the picture! There's an X drawn on it, and a bunch of weird symbols, and a hole where his heart would be! No. Do you think, I mean, could this be some kind of curse or something? How many times do I have to tell you not to try to connect everything to the occult? My boy! Damn it. Is this a Nagagoshi case after all? Huh? What was that, boss? Uh, don't worry about it. Make sure you put that photo into evidence. So... Oh... There's no doubt this is related to Yoshimi. Make sure you do a thorough sweep of the area. I'm gonna make a phone call. Got it. Leave it to me. Spend as long as you want on the phone. The story continues as normal without the effect of the curse stone. So the cursed stones are gone, which means they are no longer needed, and now it's to paranormal affairs. Yep. If, if even then, it's just because there's no curse stone. Right. Because there's no reason to pursue it anymore. Yoko, Yoko fired her curse stone. It backfired. We turned back to Samon, and now any and all curses from that point on are reversed, except for hers. Because if we kept her alive, she would have undone it, or just summoned the face of shadows again, and would have kept going. Which means Yoko killed Hajime, is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that was the first, so we can't undo that, we can't undo hers. Can't undo Hajime, can't undo Yoko, but we can undo everybody else who died. Including Tsutsumi, and Dario, and Mio, and everybody else who probably died from the curses. Including Dejima. That's bad. Mio, it turns out Michio really did die in an accident. Can't bring her back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. If we ask around, we might be able to get a little more information. I guess there never really was any th uh, such thing as a rite of resurrection. But I did feel like there was a spirit watching over us. Ghosts aren't real. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> occult, is n occult is fake news. Come on. Now, come on, help me study for the math test. Uh, what am I doing Damn here? <laughs> why? Nothing is happening! <laughs> no, but now my contract won't be- No! no! I should never have believed in this blasted record of fates! <laughs> <laughs> Will you cut that out?! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Loser. 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 To all of you watching from far, far away, the Rite of Resurrection has never existed. Not in any world, not in any time. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I ask you to take the life you hold and move boldly forward one step at a time. Hi. Oh, yeah, take him down. Victor. EY's out. Do you want to question him? Hang on, Ario. I want to get enough evidence to, for a search warrant. Let him go for now, and I'll follow him. That's the kidnapper? Hmm. No death. Yeah, no death. And he gets to be alive so that she can... Oh, and this down. guy. Give him a wedgie for me. Uh, yes, I'm the one who did it. So please help me. She's, she's always following me. That's a guilty conscience, sir. You're going to burn. No such thing as spirits. <laughs> I'm so sorry, me, Joe. I had no idea. Yeah, we've seen this. Come on, yada yada. yada. <laughs> what? Hajime was killed by this Yoko Fukunaga? I'm gonna Yoko Fukunaga her up! How can that be? He wasn't the kind of guy who gets to be picked off like that. You know that! Yeah, and boss is hiding something. There seems to be some kind of secret hidden in Hajime's family tree. You say what? Let me see if I can find out what it is. For a small fee. Uh, You're creepy. <laughs> uh, I'm also here. <laughs> I had heard you would be absent today. Is there something you need? Well, I seem to have this spirit sense thing all of a sudden. It's kind of cool. See, look, spirit zap. Yeah, whoa. I know it's the sort of thing our chairwoman doesn't approve of, so I thought I'd mention it. Basically, here's my two weeks' notice. Yeah, exactly. Could have called. Didn't think you were the standoffish type. I had to find out from you why. Whoops, sorry. I forgot all about my favorite chief inspector. The hell are you planning? Eh, nothing so heinous as you're thinking. I'm only Makoto Ashiyama, after all. Nothing but a lowly janitor. Kiss me. <laughs> How are things with you? You getting along with your daughter? She died. <laughs> well, you know, more or Somewhere less. Somewhere out there, beneath the pale moonlight. Hmm. I wish there was a ride of not being tone deaf. So I guess her uh, will to bring back Hokusai is just... Extinguished. So... That! Put a period on that! Nice little bow on top. A nice little pre-bow with gold trims and maybe some jack-o'-lanterns on... as, as a, like a little design. That was Paranormasight, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. I knew Shogo couldn't just die. It's not just like, oh, hey, we have a bunch of characters on the front cover, and they all die in the opening. There are a lot of great things about this game, but I think one of the best things they did was misdirection. Misdirection was about the best thing you could have done. You thought Mia was going to be the bad guy so many times, even though mm -hmm. I, th I think you called Yoko being the villain from the from the get-go. Yep. Not just you throwing darts at a, at a dartboard, though, seeing mm -hmm. what sticks. Some bit of Niskeldamas, like 1%, was just like, ah, she did it. <laughs> That's because you, like, he was like, eh, it was, she did it. No, 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 he did it. All right, she did it. I know. He's I was, the one who, yeah, it was it. It was it. Oh, this Thomas predicts it again. Yeah, yeah no, I was, come on. I was pointing a lot of fingers because somewhere in my mind, I was trying to connect the dots, but I needed more dots to connect. Yeah, and this game kind of uh, hinges on you connecting dots. It even remembers, like, did you, did you connect this dot? Well, I better connect it right. I mean, it, all, it also helped that some of the bad endings filled in some of those dots. Exactly. So it, it doesn't feel like that you're just blindly going, you know, it's like, what do I do? Like, like what the, do the, I do? Like the fact Help that me. Shogo died in the, at the very opening and then we didn't see Yoko ever again was just like, okay, that's a red flag. It, 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 might, it might have been. It took me by surprise because I kind of forgot about it. I was like, well, she was just, well, some, that's she was, the thing. She was just some lady. Well, you're whatever. supposed to forget about her. It's the gas station attendant it's, at the it's, beginning it's of Persona 4. It's the misdirection, right? Over here, over here, yeah. Oh. Over here. I uh, like that. The, uh, the art style was, of course, impeccable. Uh, you know, even though we went to make fun of the, the whips, <laughs> that offered a lot of emotion and it just really, just a lot of character in oh, these, in oh, these wake characters. Up, wake up. There's, there's a lot of character in, the, in these folks. It's... It's really well done. I loved Hari Shigima and, and the grief that she had. I loved uh, Yako basically being possessed. We didn't even know. You know, Satsumi was just like, yeah, I'll just show her everything. You know, actually, I thought Aria was going to be the bad guy. 
because I've seen. You so, know what? I've seen. I had that right at the yeah, end. I have I seen thought that so right at the many, end. so many fucking things where you got the grizzled detective guy, and you've got like yep. it's like anything can do, cheap, but he's always a bad guy. Mm -hmm. Chaos had no anybody. No, Fuck Persona that. Four. Fuck that stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a little played out. I thought they were going that way, but they didn't. Ario is a good old egg. He is. He is. He is best boy. <laughs> Ario's best boy, Mia was best girl, and I think it was just a, a twist in the in the heart when Yoko just killed them all and says, "Sorry, I'm one step ahead of you." Oops. What a what, what a great yeah. little what, what a great little story, great little little horror visual novel. It, it, it was also uh, a. I, I think that's the response everybody should have had when they turned to leave. It was just like, no, no, there it is, no, no. So, uh, hey, Square Enix, if you ever want to do this again, it seemed like it t only took, like, uh, like $5 to make this, so you definitely made your money back. You should do more of these. People talk about Square Enix falling on hard times because, oh, they lost $2 billion. Final Fantasy XVI didn't make enough money. Well, first of all, Final Fantasy XVI did fine. It was the other failures in mobile games that they didn't do right. This is not one of them. This should be a success. More people need to know about this game because it's so fucking good. I was trying to look up sales numbers real quick because I'm genuinely curious on how many people bought this. So we're left we're left here with, with just that. This is the end of Paranormal Oh yeah, how, f how far did that go? Sorry, I, I blinked and I missed that it. Stretched all into the way over the, here. That stretched into the very oh, okay. end. That's the true ending. So, Another uh, conclusion. I actually do have a metric for you. Oh, you do? Yeah. What do you got? Because uh, uh, this is on Steam, uh, Switch, obviously, yeah. and and uh, iOS. I was actually looking at Steam. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it has an overwhelmingly positive review score well, of no 95%. Wonder. No, uh, no, no fucking wonder. And this came it? out back in March? Yeah. It's like, I, I had I had my Halloween special all planned out. I saw this. Oh, this, this could be good. And oh. I played it. Oh, it's good. This is happening. Yeah, we're uh, taking a look at a couple of reviews to uh, one of the biggest surprises this year. No shit! Nine, 9 out of 10. Right? A masterclass in puzzle solving. Yeah! 4.5 mm -hmm. out of 5. And uh, brilliant and submersive. That is amazing. Aw, look at that. There's a little little uh, image from the devs here. Thank you for your support. Glad to be supporting it. You guys, yeah. you guys did great. I would love to see more. Here, I'll go ahead and... See, it it, it doesn't have the same kind of crushing atmosphere that uh, the Deathmark series does, but it certainly has that kind of tension, that mystery, like anything could happen at any second. Yeah, that's what I'm... See, that's what I thought we were kind of getting into because we've done we've done Deathmark and there was like, ghost, ghost, dispel the ghost. Okay, there we go. There's your horror for the day. I honestly thought there would be a lot more curse usage. Yeah. But a lot of it was just, you know, put slightly off to the side mm -hmm. for, for the bigger conclusion. Well, you know, it's good because the credits pass and we're already, we're still talking about it. Yeah, it's good. It's oh, good. man, it's just, it, this, this is, this is just, just a great, great thing. Go great. buy it. It's $20. Go, do go buy it. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. And we'll see, uh, we'll see you next year. And hopefully we'll have Deathmark 2 by then. Fingers crossed. <laughs>